Uh, next up is uh, Willeke, uh, and I'm, it's a Belgian name, I'm going to muck it up, I'm sure, uh, Vac, Van Akhuta, and she's originally from Belgium, now living in Ireland since 2002. Uh, in 2009, four years after she was diagnosed with MS, she was forced to retire from a rather uh, stressful job as an incident coordinator. Uh, not only was Willeke's work impacted by her MS, but other parts of her life as well, including her hobbies and her pastimes. Uh, they became more difficult to do and less and less enjoyable and then she began to feel cut off from friends and from the outside world and then Willeke found the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, Willeke van Akuta. Thank you. So we were talking about employment a little bit earlier. You had to leave. Um, what does it take out of your life? What kind of a hold does that leave when you have to leave work? Well, um, I kind of gradually eased into um, being on an invalidity pension because um, I had missed work so much before that that um, I knew what, would, what life would be um, when it would finally happen. Now, it does leave a hole. Obviously, you miss your friends, you miss, you miss your colleagues, you miss like the good times people have at work. Um, social outings, things like that. Um, it, I, I just didn't want to look at it as a whole. Mm -hmm. I just th thought um, this is just the start of something new. I moved to Ireland to start a new job, a new life, um, and I just looked at it at um, I'm here to, to stay in Ireland. Um, this is just the start of a new chapter in my life, and well, ups and downs like everybody else has, I suppose. Right. Um, people that like can't sleep because they're in pain all night or um, you have good days and I call them, I refuse to use like negative language, so I call them less good days. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just categorize like everything like that because um, at the end of the day, um, I just have to look around here. Um, I look at my family and I think, I think there's people worse off than I am. I can't work anymore, but um, I, I can still do things. And that's what I wanted to focus on. So um, basically with being online much more than I would have with being at work. Right, so, so you went online, uh, and, and, yeah. and what did you find when you, when you um, started looking? Like a lot of people um, being on Facebook. Um, I, I used Facebook in the beginning as just a tool to, to talk to my family and friends. But then I started, like, I just typed in multiple sclerosis and this whole list of groups and people popped up. So I joined a couple of those groups, and what I found there was absolutely amazing people that understood, people that were willing to listen to um, my little bits and pieces of um, what is going on in my day. Um, a lot of support, a lot of very, very friendly people. Um, and I, I just thought this is like a new family to me. I've met so many people um, on Facebook alone like that I consider now really, really, really good friends because mm. we're in the same boat, we share um, the good and the bad. What, what are some of the sites that, 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 that you do find helpful? You, you've spent a lot of time searching out the good ones yeah. and the bad ones, so um, what, what are some of the good ones? Um, one of the really good ones I thought is called um, ladies with lesions, so obviously the lesions in the brains, and this is... Um, and obviously they're not a men's group then. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> well, basically, you know, women um, are easier, like, in talking about their daily life, their going-ons at home with their kids, um, with MS. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of a group where you can vent, like, oh my God, he didn't do the dishes again, like that kind of thing. Um, but then there's other groups as well that... Um, one group that started in South Africa, um, pe people from South Africa, that basically just said, we welcome everybody with MS, um, no matter how bad, how good, um, where you live, um, people um, around my age as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I found that a really good group. And then um, as you like, 
you only have to Google MS and you end up, you, you end up with lists and lists of websites, um, pages you can go to um, basically to, to share information, to say, um, look what kind of medication are you on, are you having side effects, um, silly things like that, just the daily stuff like so there's a lot of that, there's a lot of good information oh, out there and it's not just the absolutely. it's not just the the, the organization sites that no, have the information it's no, it's the sharing it's, back yeah, and exactly. forth exactly and i think um especially for people who um are stuck at home like myself my main disability would be my fatigue um because i get tired really really quickly um so f for people um like myself or people in small villages cut off for example from like a larger village or a town, being online um, can be so beneficial because you're you're sharing, you're meeting people, you're meeting people in between brackets, obviously. But um, being online is is yeah. I c I don't know how to explain it other than um, you won't know what. Um, you're going to find un unless you've actually tried it out mm -hmm. and um, you've signed on like um, on websites like that. Um, but loads of support, absolutely loads of it. Um, now, one of the things about the internet is the, the anonymity, which can be yeah. obviously good, etc. Yeah. Um, I find that, that, that sometimes some people can be a little bit um, more in your face, maybe, exactly. and things like that. So, yeah, yeah. so maybe, uh, what what advice would you would you give to someone who's maybe looking out there on, onto the internet for the first time? Because it can be a bit of a scary place oh, sometimes, and, and one absolutely. little um, um, guide, maybe. Well, there's um, different things you have to look out for. Um, if a website says um, you'll be cured from your MS by drinking this kind of tea or eating those kind of potatoes. Don't trust them. <laughs> you know, just just log off of the internet. Um, mm. But yeah, stuff like that. And then um, websites to stay away from are websites where you have to buy something. Um, those those people are not after your stories. They're just after your credit card information. And um, stay away from that. But if it's, for example, um, um, forums on websites like, um, I can't really think of a name now, but um, there's definitely medical websites out there that do host forums where you sign on, um, you know it's like the, the information they give you is absolutely genuine. Um, and you know, you, you can still compare website to website to see is this really true what they're saying, but um, Definitely look out for um, websites that are after your money, after um, personal information. Exactly, like that. anything. Right. But trust websites like um, WebMD is a good one. Um, the Mayo Clinic is another good one. Um, Obviously, MS Ireland, very good. MS one. Ireland, yeah. which would be the first place people of Ireland, right. people in Ireland, and should go for look for. Um, but there is definitely definitely loads of good websites out there um, that are genu genuinely interested in um, your path in a way. Um, like There's even a website called Patients Like Me, which is brilliant um, if you're just, just diagnosed, for example. You just fill in, um, these are my symptoms. <coughs> You kind of write a journal. Mm -hmm. um, you were, you like click. Did I have a good day or a bad day? Stuff like that. Um, it's a really professional-looking kind of website. Um, it tells you when to take your medication. Um, it gets you in touch with other people. So it's more than just a, a chat room. It's it's yeah, actually it's, yeah. It's it's it's. I should actually have a picture of it on this, on. On there, but um, it's an amazing website because you can log absolutely everything. Like, when did I have my last relap relapse? Um, um, like, what were my symptoms? How long did they last? Um, so, sort of an online kind of medical food? journal yeah. for yourself. Yeah. Very what good. What kind of food am I taking? Um, did I have a good night or a bad night? Um, and you can pr print all of that off and take it to your GP and your uh, neurologist if you have to go. Like. Um, I absolutely would recommend that to people like um, everybody with MS, everybody with any kind of illness, because it's yeah, it's a really really good website. And I'm not saying I'm not I don't keep on saying this because I have one unit I don't like, <laughs> but um, 
It's a really good website, and it's one that would be listed um, if you just type in Google. Patients uh, like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You'll find yeah. the website. You'll see it. You, you simply sign up. You share what you want to share, the things that you don't want to be, be known to anybody. Just don't write it in there. Um, all right. Plus, your your own your own information stays your own. Like nobody else is going to pop in and start changing things. Um, and 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 it, the online world, the internet, has opened up. Wait, on the days that it, you find it hard to get out, yeah, you can sort of get out. Yeah, exactly. Very exactly. Good. You can do anything. Like you know, you could order your groceries, go do your postal. It's true. Things, the the bank, your bank, um, like how you call it. So it's not just banking, it's not yeah. just the MS stuff. I mean, oh, actually, gosh, world no, we can do that. No. All right. I, I wouldn't want people to be to be totally focused on MS only. You know. Right. Um, oh, there's loads of things like yourself, um, like you know, you blog, I blog. You can write, you can share like to the world what you want to share. You share, um, like I I blog, for example, about life in Ireland and life with MS. Um, you blog about food and things like that. And it's only what you want to give to the world that you have to show, you know. Um, it's, it's, I think the internet is an absolutely brilliant tool for anybody, MS or no MS. And that's the important part, is to think of it as a tool. It's, yeah. it's one of the tools yeah. for living yeah. your life and like life with MS. Obviously, the information, for example, that you're going to find on medical websites, um, it, it might say, say, for example, um, neuropathic pain is like this or like that. Um, don't always trust that information. If you feel, and I really want to like um, point on that, if you if you're looking up symptoms on the webs on on websites, it's not a replacement tool for a doctor, a hospital, or a neuro neurologist. It's still the internet. It's one of the tools um, yeah. in the toolbox. It's still right. the internet. If you're looking like. For example, before I was diagnosed, I kind of knew it was MS, but I just refused to go on the internet and look for things about MS until I had my diagnosis, because I didn't want to put ideas in my head that, um, oh my God, I'm going to die when people with MS don't necessarily die right. from MS itself. So um, you have to treat it with caution in that way, in that way as well. It's a brilliant tool. But at the end of, it, of the day, it's a tool that cannot replace medical advi advice, sound medical advice. Well, I'm sure that we're